guess they didn't put this in the brochure, am I right? I don't even know if the story you're telling is going to make sense. It's going to... I need a lot of voiceover. True. Okay. <laughs> Smells good. Yeah. <laughs> Smells good. Let me ask again. So how was Mexico? How was Mexico? Wait, wait, no. Say like. Oh, it's filming. Oh, yeah. I knew it. I knew you were doing of course, something. I put it right on you. Can you just say like, oh, so you guys um, like act it? Visiting Tom. Or be or can it or be, uh, be make candid. it campy? Yeah, you guys are visiting Tom in Mexico because he just had a baby, right? Okay, go. It'd be okay. better if you're sweating bullets. Who, me? Yeah. <laughs> so you guys were visiting Tom in Mexico because of the baby? Yeah, yeah, he had a baby. He's had a baby. Whoa! Right? Tom's in Mexico? And then you could be like, Mexico, Mexico, oh, Mexico. You know, actually... Remember those pictures of your parents when you were little? They looked young and consciously hip and optimistic. Watch. Yeah, have you ever seen Jack from Vampire Hair? No. Wow. That's fine. Wow. He's like, Frey. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, sorry. Okay. I don't know how to like, add that back. Let me talk yeah. to one. Where are you going to One second, maybe just one or two. Well, not right now, but. Hold on, but can you say season six? Six. Can you say se season six? Eight. Set, uh. <laughs> No dos tres cuatro cinco seis. You say seis Temporada seis. Temporada seis. Say twenty 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 twenty. I couldn't find do this. What? Could you please repeat what you said? Twenty twenty. Hola, I think that Hola, is gonna like it. Hola. You like it? Yay! <laughs> and especially repair them? Yeah. Um, well, look, why don't they like remake them? Jordana had been to this mountain village before, and she took us to this hut in the middle of the woods where a group of women sell psychedelic mushrooms because a few of us wanted to try it for the first time. I'm aware how unreal that sounds. If you want, it's with honey. Because they keep it in there fresher. Yeah, it is, they have a big trip for 800 and the small one in 600. Anyways, like I, I'm pretty sure that you can share. Okay, Either, even the small? Yeah. Guys, this is the 800 one and any of these ones is 600. So you can decide what you want to do. Well, that's it. We can go all together and just start like eating and then I always like to just walk when I on my trip so mm -hmm. we um, can go a little bit further you, here. Yudana said just don't eat any of the mushrooms you find on the ground yeah. or any kind of vegetation, yeah, no matter what kind of trip you're having. Uh, it's nowhere good a year. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 it's like, oh, it's like a delicacy. <laughs> Yeah, we'll follow you guys and we'll, um, well... No, I don't want to follow anyone. No, I mean, Everybody like, just I mean we're not going to lead anyone. And anymore. feel free if you feel like it to get naked. It's really cool. As we waited for the trip to kick in and only feeling a sense of deep peace that could have been drug-induced or not, we kind of fell into the habit of taking more and more. Did you guys take any more sips? Mm -hmm. I'm take a sip. Yep. Yeah.
That's disgusting. Well, I, it's so bitter. Well, mm. That's what we should have done the first time. N- n- I think but we're, we're, too, like, we're too, like, you know, cautious. Yeah. Understand. Now you know. This is your first time also, right? Mm. I've never actually eaten the mushrooms. But super minimal, yeah. Yeah. very like a body high, yeah. yeah. Do you want to have another baby one day? No. No, never? Careful! Me? No, it's there. No, no more babies. Really? Yeah, no. Careful. What about you? I mean, you never know until you have the first one, right? Exactly. But in the days I remember that I said that I want to like 10. Really? There's no way that I'm gonna have 10 babies. But Thus began Jack's endless night of vomit and diarrhea, spending the first moments of the new decade on the toilet. So, mountain, you, when did you descend up the mountain? Little did we know on the way up the mountain, what we kind of knew, um, the, the, the car just leaked a whole bunch of uh, coolant, all of it. Having no other way back to their home, we decided just to keep an eye on the situation, but almost right away the car started smoking. We drive a little bit, add it back, and just see what happens. What? Maybe every like 15 or 30 minutes of, what? of driving. Add? Yeah. You can know add fluids to the car when it's hot. Oh, okay. You don't think it's too hot? Yeah. Put water in? You don't think it's too hot? I know that Jack doesn't feel great, but he knows better how to dry steel. I just don't because I don't know. I think that you're using the brakes so much. Okay. Jack, you want to drive? Sure. Uh, I'm gonna check out this town to see if there's a mechanic. Okay. Because the antifreeze is leaking out. And the engine's overheating. Fuck. There she goes again. Trip. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm. And it's New Year's Day, and uh, we were kind of where there are no mechanics that were working that day, so we had to find a mechanic. And eventually, we found a mechanic. Is this still? Is this still in the mountains? This is in the mountain, four hours away from the place. Oh, wow. So, uh, so are the two options basically: we leave the car somewhere, get a bus, and then come back for the car. And the other option is actually there is no other option. What's the other option? That's a possibility, but the we find one we're talking about is 
once we get to the top of the mountain, trying to see how far we can get. Um, oh, like just driving it. Yeah, I mean, those could you could do both of those options at the same time, right? Are you filming right now? Yeah. Oh. I, what, um, <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering why you were talking like that. Um, Jordana took it upon herself to find a mechanic in this town willing to work, and I was just Hola. trying to film without being too annoying. Hola. Oh, I heard a voice. Hola. ¿Quién es el mecánico? Ah, oh, no está. No está. Arriba, Andy. Oh. Allí a donde está la. They say that the other mechanic is the next curve after the the Virgin Temple. Oh, we were are you right kidding there. me? Yeah. But oh she my said, gosh. What if we? Why not? Why not Does she have the number for that guy? I'm yeah. gonna try to get a ride. And, uh, and try to bring the guy and, other, and in the worst case I just return with him or without him in the next few minutes okay uh, yeah, I well think. someone should come with you every car is packed with people Then, as as we were like leaving that place, the car came down. Me and Jordana had like we hitchhiked to the place uh, because the, we didn't want to move the car or something. And then the car came down. And it finally cooled down enough so they drove it down. And the baby was the, the most powerful pool because the baby was crying. And Jordana was like holding the baby. And then eventually they're like, okay, we'll work on the car. Wow. <laughs> they took out a thermometer, which helped for a couple hours. What happened? Yeah. You were doing that. No, no, but like, can you explain it? Car overheater. Oh, again? Well, we someone in our group believes that it um we may have run out of water. It wasn't Jack? The baby's. Baby stopped the car. Baby's, baby's not doing great. I guess they didn't put this in the brochure, am I right? Twenty minutes later, the car overheats again. We're home, babe, we're home. A half hour outside of the town, the car starts making these awful rattly sounds. What was supposed to be a four hour drive turned into a 12 hour one, but at least we made it pretty damn close. Okay, so what are we home? That's the brightest headlamp I've ever seen. <laughs> Do 
wirst jetzt verfilmt. So how long were you kicking it down in Tom's village? Uh, just like two days, really. And then you guys left? Then we just left. <laughs> Goodbye! Is that flying through the sky? Yeah. Okay. What else could I do? I'm gonna have to link these all up later. Yeah. What else could I do on a green screen? Uh, maybe I'm in uh, Canada. Okay. Maybe, uh, uh, maybe I'm buying my first car. A recurring thing we found in Mexico is a lack of toilet seats. Tom described his method to us and I wanted to try it out. <laughs> Give me some thumbnails. Yeah. That's it? Yeah. Nice. Wait. What happened? Uh, car broke down on the mountain. First time. <laughs> Don't put it in front of your face though. First time. Bank wouldn't give me my money, Graham. First time. Got food poisoning, drank the water, first time. First time. What? Had a baby in Mexico, first time. <laughs> My new life in Mexico, shocking. Remember those pictures of your parents when you were little? They looked young and consciously hip and optimistic. Also, probably just recently having the realization that they don't know enough about cars. Okay, Graham, get in. Okay. Take one. Take ten. Take ten. Okay. Think it's good for anyone else. Everyone, give a kiss to the person to your right. Wow. It felt like we were living in the past of another person's life, in a way that's full of responsibility and connection to the upcoming infinite choices she'll have to make, knowing that what we do now can and will affect so much in the years to come. I was kind of humbled by the experience, and not entirely sure why. Perhaps it's that I've never been able to understand so viscerally the threads that connect us now to a future generation. This video is a time capsule that I can feel Oliva watching as her older self. I hope it'll be helpful to see the path. Just as a moment ends, it's embalmed with rose water in a direction forward.